On a previous episode of AOMS TV, we travelled to a farm in the heart of South Africa's Eastern Cape to hunt dassies, small furry animals that live amongst the mountains. Today I find myself in another part of the country on a mission to shoot some more dassies for the pot. I'll be using my trusty Air Arms S510 Ultimate Sporter, an air gun that is perfect for this job, and I'm hoping to take some cracking long range shots if the opportunity presents itself. Right, we've got a really exciting episode lined up for you today. A few hundred meters behind me is a cliff where we know there are literally hundreds of dassies, so we're bound to get a few today. Um, we're just gonna have to sneak in quietly as we get close here, and we're gonna set up, do some range finding, set up the, the, the scope for the long range shots, put the scope cam on, and start getting happy with the trigger. Um, I'm expecting some, some good long range headshots. Uh, I think it'll be quite good, and I hope you enjoy it. Dassies are incredibly difficult to shoot for a number of reasons. Firstly, they are very alert, make too much noise, and they are gone. And secondly, they blend in very well with their environment. It really does take a trained eye to spot them quickly. I set up in a valley right next to a very promising looking cliff, and it's only a matter of minutes before I get my first opportunity from 80 meters out. I hear the thud as that 22 caliber pellet passes straight through the head, and dusty number one collapses right on the spot. Video footage captured through the scope at 20 times magnification shows a perfectly placed shot and I really couldn't be happier. It's not long before I get another opportunity, but this time I'm not so lucky. I think that went just above him. Do you know what I think happened? He, he was the same distance as the other ones, 80 meters slightly steeper incline angle, maybe five or six degrees more. And even five or six degrees will change exactly where that bullet goes. And I think the pellet went a few centimeters too high and just went right over his head. So that shows your, your margin for error is really, really, really small. But that's why I enjoy hunting like this. You know, even when you, you miss a few times, you learn. Each shot, you, each miss, you, you learn. Um, you learn what you have to do to, to get your shots right. So it's a, it's a great learning experience. And it's a lot of fun. Can't go wrong. <laughs> it takes a while before another dassie presents itself, but in these situations, patience is key. I may have missed the last one, but this guy is not so lucky. The Ultimate Sporter Extra is so accurate and so powerful that even an 80 meter shot like this is really just a piece of cake. The difficulty is predicting how gravity and the wind will affect the pellet in flight, but in this case I get it spot on, aiming half a mil dot lower than I did before. Dassy hunting is awesome because it really tests your knowledge of, of ballistics and your understanding of long range shooting. It's almost impossible to, to estimate the distances because all the rocks look the same um, and one rock can be 10 meters away from another and you'll never actually be able to tell that. So what I do is I follow a very specific method when I hunt these animals. The very first thing I do when I spot a dassy is to take out the range finder and, and range the animal. In this case, all of them are more or less about 80 meters away. What I do then is I take my phone out. I've got a ballistics app. I measure the incline angle and then I, I input both the incline angle and the, the distance. And then it gives me a, a number in minutes of angle of how I need to adjust. In this case, it's 9.25 minutes of angle for an 80 meter shot at a 25 degree incline. Um, I put the data in, I turn to 9.25 minutes of angle, I aim dead on, held off a little bit for a wind from the right, about half a mil dot to a mil dot. It's been a great success so far. I keep scanning the rocks for movement. There are so many different caves on this cliffside that a dassy could disappear in one spot and then reappear on the other side of the cliff seconds later. You really need to stay alert. I don't waste any time when the next one presents itself. He's down. 
Again, it's a perfect headshot, and that really is a testament to the accuracy and the power of this gun. He rolls off the cliff, and I realize that the toughest part of the day is still to come. I've got to collect all of these afterwards. Wind's blowing now. It's, uh, I have to hold three, two or three mill dots to the right. It's getting a bit out of control, so I'm going to wait a few more minutes and then maybe call it a day. Just as I'm about to pack up, the wind suddenly dies down and two dussies appear out of nowhere. The first one goes straight down and I can just make out enough of the second one to place a shot right on the head. I take my time and I pull the trigger. Oh, how awesome was that? I was about to call it quits. I was about to say that the wind was getting too strong. And I just thought, oh, let's just wait about 10 more minutes and see what happens and we call it quits. I was about to actually get up and leave. I saw a little bit of movement. Um, it was a dusty that was almost exactly the same color as the rock. I hadn't noticed before. And I uh, aimed about a mill dot to the right and uh, the wind just happened to stop right now. Took my shot, nailed him, and there was another one that kind of went back into the cave. <laughs> I waited for him to show a bit of bit of his head. Took another shot, and he dropped, and he rolled down the cliff. It's so cool. I'm loving this. But we probably will call it quits now because I think we've got enough for one day, and the wind is slowly but surely picking up. Even though it's kind of quietened down for for now, I know it's going to pick up again. So let's go collect those dussies. Right, before we head home, we're just going to go fetch all the dassies. We've got quite a climb ahead of us. That cliff's probably about 50 or 60 meters high. Um, and those dassies, are, some of them have fallen off the cliff. So it's going to be difficult to find, but we'll find as many as we can. We're going to take them home. I don't like to let any animal go to waste. But let's go collect them up. It's a tedious climb, and it takes quite a while to get up. Eventually, we find a way to reach the top, right. and the search begins. Here's one, here's the other. And this one is absolutely massive. This is a big dusty. This is probably a normal sized animal right over here. It's like a small male. Now this one is big though. This one is huge. It's really, really big. But you see there, blood coming out of the ears. Perfect head shot. And this one, I'm not quite sure where I hit this one, but he's dead. Oh, there you go. Just below the ear. Again, good head shot. So that's two down. Gonna probably leave them on this rock over here. Go fetch the rest and then come back for these. After about half an hour of scrambling about, we have all the animals and it's time to head home. It really has been an absolutely fantastic afternoon. Ethical, humane hunting is something that I stand for, so to be able to take such clean shots from distances like this is just great, and I can only thank the equipment for that. Your gun has to be able to hit that kill zone every time, and the ultimate sporter delivered today as always. Just another day in paradise, and I know I can go to bed tonight with a smile on my face.